Well, as I went to put the spring on, I thought, uh-oh, you know, why did, why was it removed? <laughs> I thought, well, maybe because the spring was going to interfere with the DC to DC converter. But it doesn't. So that's good. Um, although it's in there at an angle, which kind of, kind of bothers me. It's kind of tilted. And it's got little tiny screw heads, so... I think we'll replace those bolts and put a bolt with a washer on there and uh, see if we can't get it to straighten up a little bit. I don't want to drill another hole, but we'll see if we can make it uh, appear a little more level. Um, and then another thing I think we'll do early on is, is mount these panels back here. They're a thick plastic of some sort, and they've got holes, and I don't know what, what they're going to connect to, or what they're supposed to connect to. I'm not familiar with this, and so we'll, we'll see if we can't determine that, or we'll have to rig something up to make them work. Another thing that I haven't mentioned, and, and I'm just doing some real preliminaries here, but uh, those of you who follow the channel for a long time know I don't like working on dirty cars. And so this thing obviously has been sitting. It is, um, it's dirty. <laughs> really dirty. And so we'll have to give her a, a little cleaning just to make it more enjoyable. I always say, you know, a, a clean car is a good running car, but a clean car is also a more enjoyable car to work on. So we'll take care of that. We'll stop the meter for that. Won't charge the customer for the cleaning. <laughs> Although I should. <laughs> Don't like working on dirty cars. So, you can see, we're taking, you know, one little step at a time. Now that I've got the deck lid done, that, uh, that's nice. Now we can get back there without uh, having, you know, some kind of prop or whatever. I mean, we can just open it up as it's intended to be opened up. I think the next thing we're going to do is this thing has been slightly lowered, as you can tell by the stance. We're going to put this thing up on ramps to get it up. I, you know, I was reminded when I uh, was doing the deck lid that it's awful low and I don't like bending over. So putting them up on the ramps means I don't have to bend over as far. It's much more comfortable to work on. And that's what we'll do next.
Well, you probably can't tell by looking at it on the camera, but we removed the topsoil from this thing, so it's a little bit cleaner so that, uh, you know, if you bump up against it, you don't get dirty and you don't scratch the car. Well, and it's another cold, rainy day in uh, Shasta County, California, and we're hitting the checklist I talked to you about earlier. And so the clutch and brake need to be connected. And so you can see the clutch pedal just falls loose. So we're going to have to pull the assembly off of the tunnel here, hook the cable back onto the clutch, attach the uh, master cylinder, the brake pedal. And then that kind of puts us back at a starting point and the starting point is that uh, we need to install that Prius throttle so I don't know how others have done it and at this point I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it <laughs> so we'll we'll take care of the uh, brake and clutch first um, the brake cable in the back needed to be uh, dealt with a little bit also took care of that um, and so we're ready to take care of things at this end and uh, hopefully this goes quick and easy and we can get to thinking about the throttle well as with most things when working on a car it sounded easier than it was I have done this in the past but it's probably been 35 years since I did it the last time but you know um, connecting the uh, clutch cable adjusting the pedal stop putting on the brake return spring and adjusting the clutch just takes a little bit of time not difficult but it's done so now Here's the Prius throttle, and it had this bracket on it. I think I'm going to remove that. I have no idea what the int how, how that was supposed to how that's you know what what's going on there. I, I just don't understand. So anyway, that is going to have to be. That bracket needs to be removed, and then we need to come up with a bracket to be able to install this pedal in the vehicle. We always use the standard, you know, throttle pedals. It um, was ergonomically designed from the factory, and you know, it's it's real easy to connect the throttle at the other end as we do and I'll show you an example of that. This is our original marketing vehicle. We called him Bob for battery operated bug. We've had him since 2008 and he was originally a DC conversion and then uh, when we sold the Karma Gear we transferred all of the conversion components from the Carmen Gear to Bob. So here's the throttle. And it's just a, a billet from aluminum a housing that we use with a standard TPS. But we add uh, a, a length of fine braid stainless steel that goes down and it connects to the stock throttle cable. We've got our secondary return spring. In the vehicle, we'll take a look at the inside here. So in the vehicle here you see the stock pedal and you can see my floor mats are dirty. We still drive this car, not every day, but frequently. And so anyway, uh, yeah, this is 
a much easier install and if you want to put the car back to original it's easier to do that too you just simply replace the throttle cable and that's it so we got to figure out how to handle with the with what we've been given so stay with me well here's the Prius throttle with that bracket removed and so I've got to figure out where to locate it and uh, you know both vertically here and then of course how to mount it and I'm not sure how I want to do that you know doing the the brakes and clutch and all that you know crawling around inside the car when you're in your 60s isn't as much fun as when I was in my 20s <laughs> um, you gotta have the pedal in such a way that you know activating the pedal doesn't affect the throttle I mean the um, brakes so activating the throttle doesn't affect the brakes you don't want to hit the brake pedal and then the throttle accidentally. I mean, Volkswagen did it a certain way. And your pedals, like, you know, the videos and Porsches, the pedals pivot from the floor. In these early ones. And then, you know, a lot of American cars, they, they pivoted from under the dash. And so, that's why you had pedals go a certain way. Everything went the same direction. Um, it was just an ease of mounting and also put the geometry in such a way that you were less likely to be pushing on the brake and then hitting this at the same time because we got to have enough you know where, where we where we have this at rest and then it goes full full deflection in order to get because uh, this doesn't have a lot of throw to begin with this has a very short throw. Let's see if I can show you. Holding one hand, filming, doing everything. Uh, let's see. That's it. That's all the way down, and that's all the way up. So not a lot, but we have to accommodate all of that. You know, has to be considered when we do this. So, we put the camera down and do a little head scratching and see if I can't figure out how to do this. Well, I designed and built a throttle mount and uh, it's going to be painted. So, you're not seeing it right now. It's not installed yet, but you'll see it after it's painted and and uh, installed. And so that's almost done. Well, I just realized what time it is. So I'm going to call it a day. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>